Yo, what is good, my air to break free for what is good, yo? <sighs> Guys, it's been four years, four years I have been waiting, almost five, I have been waiting for this amazing, broken, awesome anime and here we are finally getting it and you know i had to play as the boy Oto nobunaga i honestly think nobunaga is my spirit animal if that is a thing and i'm making it a thing and if it isn't a thing but i have always for some reason been this huge fan of ota nobunaga and to see him in a show where he isn't a dog, you know, my spirit animal. It's nice to get this back, man. Um, I was actually kind of concerned if this was actually another season, seeing how what I was looking at didn't look like a season, but from where they start off and what they're talking about, it's definitely taking place right after the first season ended, so... I'm just going to call it the second season. Um, everything that I really wanted in this show has pretty much been addressed. Um, we got to see just how ridiculously prepared the enemy team is and what they're going to be trying to pull off here soon. To the point where if anyone really tries to step up in front of the Inhumans... <laughs> It's probably not going to end too well, right? So, that's one thing I'm definitely looking forward to is how this all ends or where does this even go after, you know, from what we've seen. Uh, not only have we seen quite a bit when it comes down to how characters are acting and how characters want to carry themselves overall, but now we have to just imagine what is fully going to happen uh, with all of these troops hunting and trying to destroy humanity as a whole. But from what I can tell, it won't be that challenging for them uh, going against these armies that either specialize in swords, arrows, and stuff like that, while the monster team specializes in everything, which just kind of puts uh, the, in perspective how outgunned they truly are. When it comes down to going against these people, uh, and not even the drifters, just mainly the people who have no clue what the heck is going on in a different world and where these people are coming from. Um, for instance, we know that there's like a 2,000 year gap between some of the people, right? Like, there is no uh, real stopping of how far or how wide the gap is between certain uh, lives and stuff like that, which I really, I really did appreciate. Um, not only do we get to understand how far apart some of these people are, but these are all different tactics that now are going to be used, um, you know, in in this present day, to just give us a good basis of how ridiculously prepared some of these people can be um i'm telling you right now this show has so many amazing parts in it and it's really intense but after watching this week's episode i can 110 percent tell you there is a huge dip in the animation quality um I don't know how long they have been actually working on this, if they just started recently, whatever the case may be, but it does not look anywhere near um, as polished and as great as what we got in Season 1, so if you see Season 2 after Season 1 and you think the quality dipped, it definitely did a little bit, but since the animation style is so unique... Um, to the story to these characters I think that's a saving grace because you can't there's not a lot of shows you can point to say oh yeah Drifters looks exactly like this show or Drifters look like that show Drifters pretty much crafted its own 
way of doing things, which I appreciate. Um, not only do I appreciate, I look forward to seeing more up because not only have we gotten so much from this show, it only has just begun this next season. Um, not only are things looking up for the future, but everything I kind of expect from this show to do is already doing it. The Dark King is making his move, and he has some of the most ruthless people with him that obviously have no care in the world about human life. Uh, one of them straight up was happy enough that if he kills these humans and makes sure he doesn't kill them outright into the case where they're nothing but bones, he could actually still, um, you know, use their parts for other things in general. What are those things are that you, you may ask? Um, he wants to use human hair to make thread or something along those lines. He wants to use the human meat as food, use the blood as something to drink. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it goes on. The list goes on. So for him, he doesn't see a good reason to get rid of humans because they're so valuable to his cause when it comes down to actually taking lives and then using it for his own means which is pretty crazy to think of if you actually uh you know if you actually really think about that that's it's super dark um and this is just one guy on the whole entire army that is probably capable of slapping anybody besides drifters in a one-on-one -on -one battle easily with really no uh conflict like no difficulty as the power scalers would call it but regardless of all that it honestly brings me to my point of why was the show missing for so long um i honestly was getting so tired of waiting to the point where i just thought it wasn't going to happen anymore i thought they uh completely gave up on my show and i was just going to accept it but here we are drifters and i couldn't be any happier i wanted to do something to you oh <gasps> you idiot oh my god i almost had it too i hate or is that is that someone i know it says a... oh my god i'm an idiot so with everything popping off i'm pretty sure if you don't know what drifter is you need to get with it people from years and years across t different timelines are all being transferred to this world so they can help stop this dark king but it looks like some of the drifters that were here are just as evil as the dark king and wants to kill you know everybody in their path so there's no real stopping the, the dark king at this point just because of how much uh backup and how much intelligence he has so much so that once someone on his team kind of got the understanding of what he's doing, how he's moving, and how he's um, overall attacking, it just did not make sense for who he could have been with all this knowledge that he holds. So that was pretty cool. But guys, Oda Nobunaga, at the very begin, at the very begin, <laughs> at the very beginning, truly just goes to show us he's the same guy from season one just always trying to get straight to the point he's like yeah i get it that you want to talk about like all the ways you can you know make different <laughs> different moves and stuff and i'm not going to call the guy who was doing the negotiations what they were calling them that was pretty messed up they were just saying it out right in the text which i think is another reason why this show might have been delayed for so long is they probably just didn't know how to go about saying those types of things so now that they have an idea they just are going full out and saying it so i honestly honestly recommend you guys check out this show because at the end of the day drifters has been one of the most requested shows by me and all the people alike who miss it 
we just been wanting this and it is finally here please hit me up in the comments if you have any questions about why you should watch it or what you should watch because uh, the dub and the sub are actually really good um, but just be prepared for a dark gritty uh, entertaining story because not only does it have these dark and disgusting moments they do comedy quite well including showing that they reference you know mangas from 1955 and they have no problem just laughing at themselves or taking all the information in for instance a rome guy who was you know a leader of wars and he was like a war god pretty much right revered as one he now is 2000 years behind you know some japanese people who have weapons that he's never heard of and planes that he's never seen and he didn't even know what a ship was but to him this is just a new stage of war a new stage of battling and he's already prepared to take whatever step it needs to be taken to be in position to make the right calls make t uh, tactical movements and man does it feel good to watch these characters back on screen and rearing to fight so with all that being said everybody i hope you're having an amazing day night evening whatever the case may be please please watch drifters from season one if you have not watched it hold on i needed to sneeze because if you have not watched drifters you're doing yourself a disjustice at this point and you need to just understand this show is absolutely amazing and it's been slept on for much too long but if you really must watch it or if you really must question please watch it because i have so much more i can tell you in the comments if i need to and that's why you should watch drifters because i am a huge huge avid for it and if anybody could just watch it and give it uh you know a little bit of the talk of the town then it spreads and more people will watch it so from me and nobunaga here go watch it thank you so much for watching this and i will talk to you sooner than later season two is here episode one and i have a feeling it might get delayed it might not because it said it's on dvd but regardless i will be talking about it so with all that being said everybody take care and peace